Welcome to Matrix42 tutorial. In this video, we will configure emailing in Matrix42 administration area using Microsoft Exchange Server and Matrix42 service connections. Before we start, make sure your digital workspace platform version is 11.0.1 or higher and you have Microsoft Azure account with granted permissions for applications registration. As well, you need to have an active and available mailbox that is the same as the one that is registered for a Microsoft Azure account. Log in to the administration area of the Digital Workspace platform, proceed to Integration Navigation item, Service Connections, and choose Connections. To start configuration, click Add Service Connection action. In the Service field, select Microsoft 365 Exchange object that is available by default in the system, the name for your service connection is auto-generated, but you can modify it if necessary. In the Tenant field, proceed with creating a new tenant. Fill out the name and choose the Microsoft 365 service with all authentication type. For Client ID, Tenant ID and Client Secret, log in to Microsoft Azure portal. On the home page, go to App Registrations area and create new registration. Provide an application name. Leave the default configuration in the supported account types. To set the redirect URI, select a web platform option and modify the redirect URI according to the example provided on the screen. Click Register to proceed. Copy and paste client ID and directory ID values from the Microsoft Azure portal to the Service Connections tenant configuration. Go back to Microsoft Azure portal, open Authentication area and scroll down to the Implicit Grant and Hybrid Flows section. Enable Access Tokens, ID Tokens and click Save to apply changes. For Client Secret, switch to Certificates and Secrets area and create a new Client Secret from Client Secrets tab. Add the description, choose the Client Secret expiration period and click Add. Copy and paste the Client Secret value from the Azure portal to the tenant configuration. Please note that the secret value will be decrypted and no longer available if you refresh the page of the Microsoft Azure portal, so make sure to save it in the clipboard. Go back to the Microsoft Azure portal and grant permissions using API Permissions area. Remove the default configuration and click Add a permission, choose Microsoft Graph, Delegated Permissions. One by one add the following permissions. Offline access, EWS access as user all, SMTP send and mail send. the successfully saved permission status in the notifications area. To finalize the service connection configuration, in the administration area, click Set up authentication and sign in with your Microsoft account. For accounts with multi-factor authentication, choose necessary authentication method and proceed. requested permissions. When service connection authentication has been successfully fulfilled, click Done. To finalize the emailing configuration, in the administration area, open Settings, Edit Global System Settings. In the Emails view, Enable emailing, specify SMTP server according to the email server configuration, verify the default sender, enable SMTP authentication, enable use SSL option, and select modern authentication or OAuth 2.0 property. 
Enter mailbox email address, choose previously created service connection and click done.